Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you want to actually perform a mail merge, you can click the Finish and Merge button that appears in the Finish button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu, you will see the options you have for finishing the merge, Edit Individual Documents, Print Documents, or Send Email Messages. If you select the Edit Individual Documents choice, you will create a secondary output document that contains the results of the merge, which you can then edit individually if you want. When you select this command, the Merge to New Document dialog box appears, allowing you to select which range of records you want to merge. Make your selection and then click the OK button to finish the merge. If you want to print the documents, then click the Finish and Merge button and then choose the Print Documents choice in the drop-down menu. This will allow you to send the results of the merge directly to your printer. After you select this command, the Merge to Printer dialog box appears, allowing you to select which range of records you want to merge. Make your selection and then click the OK button to finish. If you are merging emails, you can choose the Send Email Messages command from the Finish and Merge drop-down buttons menu in order to open the Merge to Email dialog box. Here, in the Message Options section, you select the Merge field that contains the recipient's email address from the To drop-down menu. Then enter a subject line for the email into the subject line text box. Use the Mail Format drop-down to select the Email Messages format. In the Send Records section, you then select what range of records to merge. You can then click the OK button to finish. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.